Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero season 2 episode number 12. Uh, the previous episode. Uh, that was like another one of the most, what can I say, uh, brutal and toughest episode. Like uh, one was obviously that rabbit episode. Like that was like, <laughs> what can I say? And uh, this one as well, like this ranks at like the same position as that and uh, like i don't know, like this season is brutal like the previous like i never thought that rezero season one uh, the amount of uh, what can i say suffering and gore in that would be like uh, surpassed by like season two like not in my wildest dream did i ever like think that like season one was so like uh, like full of suffering and like a uh, lot of uh, what can I say um as I said like uh, suffering and uh, gore and everything stuff like those like death and everything like uh, like uh, all of those stuff and like it was like at such a high amount that not in my wildest dream that did I ever th think that season 2 could surpass that and it did <laughs> like <laughs> Like this season has been a like a lot more hard on Subaru than season one, uh, as far as I can like uh, after seeing all of this. But at least like uh, in season one, uh, there was Rem to kind of like console him and like uh, keep him, like keep his sanity, uh, uh, keep uh, help Subaru keep his sanity still. And in this season, there is Ekidona and uh, Emilia is also also helping a little bit. But Ekidina, Ekidina is the main, uh, like uh, the person who kind of took Rem's role uh, in season 2. So, yeah, okay, so without further ado, let's get started with episode number 12 of ReZero. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so Subaru reset it again. Damn, like he's been resetting so much, like at the same save point in this season. Oh, he remembered that. Oh my god. Oh yeah, thank god. I thought like he was only going to say that I'll only save Emilia after hearing Rosewall's like speech. But thank god he is like also thinking of the others as well. Like that was the only kind of fear I had. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like uh, like uh, Beatrice was doing this in Echidona's like uh, Echidona gave her the book, the tome and everything. So like, who is Roswell working for? Okay, he's going in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here he goes. And he's been called. What? Unthinkable past. What is happening? What? What is... What is Rem doing here?
Yeah, what? Wait, is is this like the scenarios like where he died, like the parallel worlds and stuff? Yeah, like I can remember this scene, like when like he brought Rem and like committed suicide. Yeah, I think so. That's what's like they like showed a little glimpse of what happened to that body, like when he committed uh, suicide to return by death. Like, this was from season one. The scene was from season one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! Like this is going. Oh my god! Real unthinkable present. Oh my god! Is he being shown? Like, is this a trial? Oh my god, this scene again, like pe the petal gear scene. Oh no. Like we have like only seen up until Subaru's death until now. Now we have to see the world after he died. Oh great, he's been shown this. Now, like the fun funny thing is like he was like he was all always like shown his friend's death. Now he's like people are showing they're showing him his own death and the other people's reaction to that. Oh my god. Like oh this guy, like Hold an unthinkable present. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Like, Reinhardt is here. Oh, so they... Oh my god... Okay, this is... Alright... Um, okay... Uh, 
Rem's voice. Oh my god. Like is like are, are all these like part of the trials? Why did not showing her face? Okay. Damn, like we have not seen Rem for a long time. Yeah, oh my god. Um, I... Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, I was thinking like that was Rem up until the middle, but then like suddenly the things she started saying. Yeah, like I was also thinking like why is she saying these? What the? Who is this? Oh, one of the witches. I, isn't it? Witch of Lust. Oh, okay. yeah, we didn't see her. No, I don't think, uh, like, I don't think that's the thing, like, yeah, that was his projection, yeah, 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 ah, okay, he projected rims. <laughs> oh, no, okay, stop, Subaru, and he's here again. Oh my god. Okay, that is... <laughs> A 
effective method what uh, yeah yeah that is kind of correct well oh my god okay so on reality hmm Basically, she only she knows whether the things is have vengeance. On, oh, yeah. People are saved. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like Formal contract, yeah, like they kind of made a contract with that before, but but what happens to like like uh, I think like the thing with Satella. <laughs> hmm okay well that sounds oh well i mean okay yeah not a bad idea oh my god jesus calm down Damn, she flipped the chair. <laughs> uh, born to the soul. Hmm. Okay. Oh my God, who is this? Is this Minerva? Like the those love signs? Yeah. She like and like takes an entry like a superhero. She's rat. Like how can she be jealous? Yeah, she's angry. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> payment. Okay, yeah, definitely there should be a payment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, knowledge. Like she's greedy. She wants to feel that as well. <laughs> Damn. 
damn like <laughs> like she's so like oh what what carmel is oh there's more okay let's hear it okay oh my god another one who yeah who is this like slot she looks more like lust <laughs> what is Oh my god everyone's here Oh my god everyone is here <laughs> In the end Oh my god in the end so like before that there is no oh my god the purpose of attending nope nope oh no 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 nope N no sacrifice please yeah Oh my god this girl All right well Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, you you're going to do the same thing. You all she'll also accept that. Wow.
Greedy. Okay. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's let's hear. Yeah, who is that person? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I like. I thought like there is. It must be something like that. Like she just like said anything. Well, that she is. Who? Okay. Okay, that is also like a favorable choice like okay I think she's angry <laughs> uh, who 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 comes is, is this Satella it's Satella isn't it like she's the only one left okay 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 let's see let's see let's see let's see I was waiting for this for so long and she's here okay next next episode will be so good god damn oh my god I, I can't wait I can't wait for the next week oh my god like oh okay that was amazing ah uh, okay so <laughs> I was a little bit too excited <laughs> at the end but anyways um okay so let's talk about this episode this episode was amazing I really love this episode like uh, what else can I say like <laughs> like ah uh, like no, nothing much happened but still whatever happened was so good and uh, we first we get to see like um, Subaru getting a glimpse of the words where he died like I've like said this in the previous episode as well in the discussion uh, section that this acts more like uh, uh, like what can I say a pal this world um, like acts like a parallel world like there are multiple worlds here and like if you guys have watched Stan's get you should you guys should be able to understand this easily like he's like the worlds are branching and whichever world Subaru is in after his death his consciousness goes back to the initial save point 
so like his consciousness only goes to the safe point but his body remains there and it like after death the world still continues and the people living here still continues their life so it's not as if like he is like erasing the whole world the world still remains he's just transferring his um, uh, consciousness to a like previous safe point and so that he can start again and another world is branching off so like the worlds which he does not like he is dead the worlds where he died the people like still face the problems that they were facing for example let's like just uh, Let's just uh, think about uh, the world where uh, Puck freezes everything. Like uh, and Rem is dead and everyone is all, like almost dead. In that world, <coughs> that world uh, after Subaru's death, that world continues. And as we can see, like Reinhardt comes and kills Puck, and like we don't know what happens after that. Like uh, like after uh, destroying Puck, Reinhardt probably like. Uh, like does something else like and the world still continues until and unless the world itself gets destroyed like that is like the only safe point uh, uh, end point so like the people left behind like 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 super can't is saving them in a sense that he's resetting and trying to get a favorable outcome but at the same time he is unable to save the people where in the world where he died so like he was like we can see here like his anguish his grief like where he says that uh like if i was more stronger more smarter the world uh, that i left after i died uh, i i like i left them to die like i wasn't able to save them so if i was stronger more uh, smarter i might be able to do something for them as well but uh, like as we can like as we know like it's not possible to save everyone like you have to make a choice and he like is getting a lot of liberty a lot of second chances which normal people wouldn't have gotten like that in itself is a great advantage and is a great blessing to him which he's getting but like uh, like you have to choose here like uh like you're, you're, you're like you're one person you can't like save everyone so like even though he's getting a bigger advantage by like getting the power of like returning by death he he is getting a lot more choices so he like as uh, rem was saying that and ekidona also said that uh, you tried and you did your best so think about the people who have you have saved not the people you were unable to save so that is the main thing that Shubhra should should keep in mind even though he kind of get the, said that that is cliched thinking but thinking that you can save everyone in all, is also cliched thinking you can't do that that only happens in um, like that happens rarely so yeah and uh, when Rem came like uh, I thought probably it was some kind of like uh, Subaru's um, like uh, thought or like she was seeing things and like that was some kind of um, like uh, his like illusion made by him like as we see in animals like people kind of see illusions when they're at their lowest and kind of like that it's like his own self-confidence I think it was something like that but it turns out it wasn't like it was a person uh, not a person but a witch and that was Carmilla the witch of lust so like um, Like uh, the things that Rem was saying, like uh, they were correct in each and every aspect. But like until the middle portion, like after that, she suddenly started saying, like you should like leave everything to me, and you should like you have done your best, and it's okay to rest now. And like that suddenly struck in my mind, like why the hell is Rem, Rem or like Rem's uh, whatever illusion Subaru is projecting is saying those words? Because Subaru like heard Rem say that uh, I like I can't go away run away with you because I would be leaving the Subaru that I love the most and uh, like I like I don't want uh, the person I like love to like give up like I don't expect that from uh, the person I like and she like helped him get up not she did not like say stuff like these like yeah you have done enough so you should rest now 
she never says stuff like this so i was kind of thinking like why the hell is this illusion or whatever that super is conjuring is saying these words because super never heard these words uh, like Rem said the complete opposite of this so like even if this was an uh, illusion made by Subaru uh, So why is it saying stuff like those then it came uh, Into light that the per person or like the witch it was a witch act in actuality like the person who was like saying these things to him so <clears throat> Like so the thing is here is like <sighs> like the witch that is uh, like Carmilla did not m like uh, did not like ma do any magic and changed uh, changed uh, her form and like came in in front of him as Rem like Subaru sp like himself projected Rem's face onto like the witch of uh, lust and I think like it like uh, it was must be like some kind of power of the witch where like the other person uh, projects the person that he wants to see the most or uh, like uh, wants to be there for them the most onto her like that must be some kind of her power i don't know it's just my guess anyways so like um so here's the thing so at that moment where subaru was like um the at the lowest of uh, his self-confidence and everything and like he was almost giving up he remembered rem not emilia not anyone else but rem Obviously because Rem had saved him before and that thing obviously like made a huge impression on him That was the reason why like the Rem's face is like shown here Because like even though he likes Emilia and uh, Emilia has also helped him But the person who made the most impression and more made the most kind of uh, What can I say? Yeah impression on him at the time of his lowest and at the time where he had almost given up was Rem and uh, like so that like so that is the reason why Subaru thought of Rem and uh, <coughs> like like that was really uh, what can I say like that kind of showed Subaru's inner uh, thoughts it brought it out so I think Rem still has a chance <laughs> like the main thing that I was trying to say is this one like I think still Rem still has a chance and <laughs> <laughs> and like he, like he was also kind of in the first uh, episode of this season he was also kind of trying to say something to uh, Emilia and like said something about Rem and said that she likes me and she he was trying to say something when like Emilia suddenly said who is Rem and like stuff went uh, like what is going on now so I don't know mm, like <laughs> like I don't know Rem still has a chance like in first season I thought that maybe probably she won't get a chance like even though she is best girl but <laughs> like um, she still has it so that's like nice thinking about and after that we get to see like um, Ekidona again calling uh, him in her banquet and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Uh, says stuff about the, the trials and all and everything and uh, kind of uh, roots for him as well and then she starts talking about the uh, contract and stuff like those so here it is so after that all of the witch comes out each and every witch and we also get to see like the two witches we have not seen previously uh, like uh, last came in before uh, that is uh, Carmilla so we see her again and the pe person who have, we have not seen was um, Sloth uh, segment so one thing here is like like we've al already seen segment in the opening huh? and I kind of thought that that was lost like by her like uh, character design like she was uh, like you guys can understand what I'm saying like a lot like more uh, uh, Sexually pro pro provocative or whatever you say like I, I can't uh, Like what can I say? I can't express the thing that yeah, but she looks more like a person who would represent lust So I was a bit surprised here by like she represented sloth and obviously we can see that she is sloth because like she was like like laying down and each and every word that she was saying was uh, followed by uh, what can I say a sigh 
like she was saying something and saying ha huh. and then I, like she was like she also didn't uh, this kind of this, uh, like makes us realize that she also doesn't want to talk like she she's so lazy like that is sloth like that's the definition of sloth and uh, but her character design is really uh, what can i say kind of um uh like more like her character design represents more of lust and like lust character design i don't know uh, it really does not represent like uh like it really does not look like lust so yeah like if like if uh, like uh, if they're like uh, the people like uh, if all of these witches were like uh, arranged one by one and uh, lust and um slot were like placed uh, on like one on the side of each other i would probably like if asked if someone asked me uh, like who do you think is lust and who do you think is um slot out of these two i'd probably uh, interchange them because obviously like uh the like lust here like, it's carmila looks like a person who can be slot but uh, segment here who is uh Sloth actually looks like lust. So yeah, that is just something that I like thought of. Anyways, um, but uh, yeah, and then uh, <laughs> Ekidona suddenly starts rambling. <laughs> like, like the stuff she was saying. Like, um, <laughs> what can I say? Like, she, she, like we can see her greed after that uh, kind of like uh, monologue that she was saying. Like. Her greediness, like she is perfect for greed, and like uh, like at the end, she, her face kind of like became kind of sinister and all, and uh, like what can I say? And here's the thing, like I can understand why Subaru is like annoyed or angry with um, Ekidona, but like like Ekidona can do can't do anything like she said before that i'm greedy like uh, she said that that obviously before and like um super super and we all thought that she was um like a bit more sympathetic towards super and obviously she's sympathetic towards super as we've seen like she favors him a lot uh, a lot but like uh the thing is like she is witch of greed for a reason so obviously she's going to like choose greed over any other emotion so like i can't blame her for that so yeah like like as Subaru said your intentions are not 100 percent good obviously like like what can i say like she is a witch so obviously her intentions won't be 100% good like there must be something for her and the thing that is in for her is like the greed thing like she wants to know and uh, like feel and uh, like experience everything each and everything so that was why like she um, proposed the um, contract or whatever and uh, <coughs> Subaru um, like okay and then uh, super asks the question that we all wanted to hear that is uh, who was the like the chosen like the person for beatrice that she was waiting for and obviously like this was something that i saw coming obviously like ekidona just like um like there was no one there were actually no one like that is something like that ekidona just um like just say it like there was uh, no one coming so the main thing that Echidona's uh, that uh, I wanted to know here is like why Echidona uh, like asked her to wait for that someone so the answer got answered here that is like as far as I can understand Echidona wanted to see who Beatrice chose but like she did not choose anyone obviously because she thought that uh, like she did not understand that the actual meaning of Ekidona's uh, words like Ekidona said to wait for this your chosen one and she thought that maybe the person who was the chosen one uh, she would be able to easily understand uh, like there must be something special about him or her the chosen one but Egidona did not mean something like that. Egidona just wanted Beatrice to choose someone. 
So Beatrice unable to understand that she waited for 400 years and like uh, I also can't blame Ekidana for this as well because like obviously this is also a reed speaking like Ekidana wanted to see who Beatrice would have chosen like that's also greed wanting to know so I, I think this is something like this so like like no one is at fault here like uh, what can I say uh, like obviously Subaru is angry I, I can understand why he's angry because like he obviously thought that Ekidana was someone who uh, who is on her his side and who is doing everything on for the like from the good of her heart and also because like Subaru kind of uh, found a person who was uh, like not affected by written by death and she, he could share everything with her so she felt he felt a bit betrayed like uh, I can understand that that is why Subaru is like angry but I don't think like Agatona is at fault here like she, like she is the witch of greed so what else can she do so yeah that was this episode I really loved this episode and oh and the main th part here it is like the uh, last scene of the episode Satella comes in <laughs> like I was waiting for this for so long like we got a glimpse of Satella before but that was like just a glimpse so yeah so we'll obviously get <coughs> a formal introduction from Satella in the next episode and I can't wait for this like the next episode is obviously like the ending episode of this uh, season part and we'll get another part uh, I think uh, after a few months of free zero that is season two part two so excuse me so yeah we'll see like in the next episode will things are going to <laughs> become a bit mm, serious so yeah like also like this episode was also so amazing i loved this episode so yeah so yeah that was this episode oh, damn like nothing much happened but still it was so enjoyable and we also got to see another thing like all of the worlds where we are seeing uh, what happened after subaru died um like in that uh like uh like uh, you guys remember from season one where Subaru died in the mansion in the Rosewall mansion uh, in the first night uh, like where he was probably like uh, like he was like poisoned like the I think that it was the poison was from the dog's bite obviously and <clears throat> he like uh, went out of his house and someone was following him and like he was killed like uh, obviously that was uh, Rem we understood but we got to see here like uh what they were saying like uh rem was saying that uh <coughs> like he was suffering like subaru was suffering so obviously like uh, i killed him because i wanted to uh release him from the suffering so yeah like at that time i kind of thought that uh it was because uh rem thought that subaru was from the witch's cult so she killed him but seeing this uh scene we can obviously see that rem was like uh, concerned for Subaru in her own way and wanted to like not make him suffer from that poison so she killed him so yeah that was really uh, like merciful or like something that obviously a kind-hearted uh, person as Rem could do so yeah that was another thing that uh, we got to see so yeah so that was this episode guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed or you are new to the channel because uh, that really helps a lot <laughs> boosts my <laughs> um, what can I say uh, makes me happy anyways so uh, and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to share with me anything you want to say I'll be sure to check them out and uh, I'll be back with a new ReZero episode uh, in the next week which will be the last episode of ReZero in this part like this season this part so yeah I'm going to miss ReZero a lot like this was a really amazing season and I really can't wait for the next episode as well. So yeah. So yeah guys. Uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day.